Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for April 21st. Remy says hello. Today's devotion is titled Difficult People. The Bible reading is from Proverbs chapter 15, verses 1 to 7 and verse 18. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. A fool spurns a parent's discipline, but whoever heeds correction shows prudence. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings ruin. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, but the hearts of the fools are not upright. A hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. Lucy Worsley is a British historian and TV presenter. Like most people in the public eye, she sometimes receives nasty mail. In her case, over a mild speech impediment that makes her R's sound like W's. One person wrote this. Lucy, I'll be blunt. Please try harder to correct your lazy speech or remove R's from your scripts. I couldn't sit through your TV series because it made me so annoyed. Regards, Darren. For some people, an insensitive comment like this might trigger an equally rude reply. But here's how Lucy responded. Oh, Darren, I think you've used the anonymity of the internet to say something you probably wouldn't say to my face. Please reconsider your unkind words. Lucy. Lucy's measured response worked. Darren apologized and vowed not to send anyone such an email again. A gentle answer turns away wrath. Proverbs says, but a harsh word stirs up anger. While the hot-tempered person stirs things up, the patient person calms them down. When we get a critical comment from a colleague, a snide remark from a family member, or a nasty reply from a stranger, we have a choice to speak angry words that fuel the flames or gentle words that douse them. May God help us to speak words that turn away wrath and perhaps even help difficult people to change. Think of a time you got defensive with someone. Why do you think you reacted that way? How could you respond differently in God's power? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.